Hi everybody, my name is Eugene and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can manage your pay slips with Paper Merge. Along the way I will introduce a couple of interesting features like document versioning, metadata and the preview of OCR text. Let's start. Here in Germany they send you pay slips by post. That is, you receive them as physical letter. These letters or pay slips are important to keep around because you never know when you'll need them. I live in Germany and I have experience with German system, so I won't be surprised if in my retirement, which is 30 years from now, I will be asked to present all my pay slips for my entire career. Long story short, it is a very good idea to keep a record of your pay slips. Let me show you how Paper Merge can help you with that. So what I did, I scanned all my physical pay slips in one batch. That is, I took all my physical pay slips and feed them to my scanner. The result of that operation is this PDF file. Now, what I will do, I will drag this file into my pay slips folder, like this, and it will take a couple of minutes until all pages will be OCR'd. Let's have a look at the document. Obviously, these are not real pay slips. As you can see, I did not bother at all to arrange uh, this pay slip. You see here pay slip from August and here is July 2014, uh, April and so on and so forth. Ordering manually even 50 physical pay slips by month and year will take a while. The thing is, you don't even need to do that. Let me show you what I mean. So what I will do, I will take every page from here and paste it as separate document. Like this. So first of all, you see that uh, August pay slip is gone. And what I want to point out is this version uh, here. Every time you make a change on the document, like I did uh, by cutting a page from this document into another one, this version is incremented. So if I want to see original, you see it here. The first page is August and the second page is uh, basically from July. Let me go back to the latest version and continue the same way. So I'll cut this page and paste it here. So I'll quickly continue this operation for all pages. Okay, and here you see each and every pay slip placed into a separate document. The original document, this one, has only one page and its version is number 11. This corresponds to the number of changes we have done. The problem now is that you cannot tell what pay slip for what month is. It is so because all documents look like sort of same and have exactly the same uh, file name. And here where metadata comes to rescue. So what I'll do, I'll go one folder up here in home and for this folder I will add a new metadata field. And I'll call it payment date. I will choose type date and this will be the format. I'll save it. So metadata was saved successfully. And now here in payslip folder, if I switch to list view, you'll see a new column, this payment date. This payment date column is so-called meta column. You'll see here now in metadata, this payment date was added and expects you and it waits here for a value. So what I want to do, I want to copy this date from here, here. But the thing is, you see the format here is date, date, month, month, year, year. But in payslips, the year is represented with four digits. So what I want to do actually, first I'll change the format to be date, date, month, month, and, and four digits year. So let me do that quickly. So I'll go to home, again I'll go to this folder, I have here uh, metadata for this uh, folder. I will change it to this format, save it and go back to my spaces. So here's the first one. 
you see the format here was changed. The copy cut and paste here corresponds to <laughs> uh, cut and copy of the document pages. So I need to press Ctrl C on my keyboard to actually to copy this text. So Ctrl C and then Ctrl V pasted this uh, uh, metadata value. So I'll save it. And now if I'll go to my payslips folder, you see that for this document, I have this value. So let me quickly do the same operation for second file. So again, this is for July. I'll select Control C, Control V, save. So let me now quickly do the same operation for the rest of the documents. And at this point, you can clearly see which of these documents corresponds to which payslip. For example, this one is payslip from May 2014. May 2014. Besides that, you can also sort ascending or descending based on this uh, column value. And this is how Paper Merge can help you organize uh, your payslips. And before concluding the screencast, I want to show you two more things. So first of all, let me open this document. Notice, by the way, that newly pasted documents, they uh, start with version zero. So what I wanted to show you is that if you click on this thumbnail and then right click, here you see this view OCR text. So if you click this one, you will see the extracted text by OCR engine. Another thing which I wanted to show you that you can change the format of displayed dates here. And you can change that in preferences, localization format and localization date format. So I will choose date uh, to be more like European style. So I'll save it. And now you notice that format of the date displayed here is different. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.